Hello friends, welcome to Supreme Education. We are going to learn theorem of touching circles. First, we'll learn about touching circles, and then we'll move towards theorem of touching circles. If two circles in the same plane intersect with a line in the plane in only one point, they are said to be touching circles, and the line is their common tangent. Listen again. If two circles in the same plane intersect with a line in that same plane in only one point, then these two circles are said to be touching circles, and the line is the common tangent of these two circles. Here also, these two circles intersect with a line in only one point in common. Therefore, these two circles are also touching circles. and this line is common tangent to these circles the common point between the circles and line the common point between the circles and line is called point of contact there are two types of touching circles externally touching circles and internally touching circles now in both figures there are two circles with centers a and b centers a and b and these two circles touch each other in first figure these two circles touch each other externally at point c and in second figure these two circles touch each other internally at point c and line l line l is the common tangent to both the circles this is about touching circles now we'll move towards theorem of touching circles statement of this theorem is if two circles touch each other their point of contact lies on the line joining their centers now the first step to prove this theorem is to draw proper diagram now here we have to draw touching circles means we have to draw both types of touching circles that is externally touching circles also internally touching circles this is our required diagram in which there are externally touching circles and internally touching circles there are circles with centers a and b centers a and b touch each other at point c touch each other at point c externally as well as internally line l line l is their common tangent point c is their point of contact this is given means given will be c is the point of contact of the two circles with centers a and b Now next step is to write to prove for that go through the statement again here we have to prove point of contact lies on the line joining their centers now here point of contact is point c in both figures and we have to prove point c lies on the line joining their centers means point c lies on line ab point c lies on line ab this we have to prove means we have to prove point a c and b are collinear means here our to prove is point c lies on line ab point c lies on line ab now we'll move towards proof proof line l is the common tangent passing through point c line l is the common tangent passing through point c means point c is the point of contact we have already learned tangent theorem the statement of tangent theorem is a tangent at any point of a circle is perpendicular to the radius at the point of contact now here line l is tangent to both the circles therefore line l is perpendicular to the radius at the point of contact now here point of contact is point c and the radius drawn at the point of contact is for first circle it is ac and for second circle it is bc therefore line l is perpendicular to segment ac for first circle and it is also perpendicular to segment bc for second circle means line l is perpendicular to segment ac also line l is perpendicular to segment bc this is for external touching circles now what about internal touching circles here also line l is tangent to both circles point c is the point of contact therefore for bigger circle tangent is perpendicular to radius means l is perpendicular to ac 
and for smaller circle L or line L is perpendicular to segment BC in for both circles we'll get these two statements that is line L is perpendicular to segment AC also line L is perpendicular to segment BC now since line L is perpendicular to segment AC we'll get segment AC is perpendicular to line L this will get this statement AC is perpendicular to line L similarly since line L is perpendicular to segment BC we'll get Segment BC is perpendicular to line L. Means this statement that is segment BC is perpendicular to line L. Means in this diagram there is a line L and there is one point on line L that is point C, and AC is perpendicular to L and BC is perpendicular to L. But we know that if there is a line and a point on that line, then one and only one perpendicular can be drawn passing through that point to that line. Means line L and there is a point on line L that is point C therefore one and only one perpendicular can be drawn passing through point C means AC and BC are not separate lines or are not different lines means line AC and line BC are same means line AC line BC and line AB all are same that means that means point A, point C and point B. Here also point A, point B and point C lies on the same line. Lies on the same line. Which tells us that point A, C and B are collinear. Point A, C and B are collinear. Hence point C lies on the line AB. In this way we have proved theorem of touching circles. If you didn't even subscribe this channel then do it right now to get more and more videos automatically on your YouTube. Thank you.